Hello everybody, this is another video that I am doing about reduce, reusing and recycling of packaging. Now today's videos are going to be focusing mainly on Baby Bell. This is not a paid production, this is just one that I'm doing since my local centre that did recycle Baby Bell wax and all of the product um, contents, packaging contents, sorry is no longer going to be open. Now this is a standard label that will come on your baby bell. So I'll just give you a few minutes to um, have a look at that. And it gives you an idea of what it looks like. They do vary depending on um, the product that they are trying to market to you. And if you turn it over, there is all the other information. Now, what I've been told is to find out whether or not plastics in which your food is wrapped in are able to be recycled is you look for the recycling symbol or you look at these three symbols here, which should tell you whether or not it is possible to be re recycled. Now, it's great that they've got these symbols, but no one really knows what they mean. So I will talk about those at a later stage. Now, I've took this label off the original packet and straight away, I personally cannot see how this label can be recycled 100% just on its own. The reason being, if I just show you this end here, I'm trying to line it up here with my phone. At the end here, what they have done is that that's where the plastic netting is that has the cheese and here is what looks like a little bit of an aluminium clasp now if i was a company and i was saying oh yes you by all means you can recycle the plastic label i would be expecting those two other items to not be included as they are probably not something that they would be able to recycle but i will check now, if I get a baby bell bag and put it next to this one, both ends of this baby bell bag have got these two what look like aluminium clasps on them. Now, as we know, aluminium can be recycled. And if that is the case, then why aren't people being advised that there are certain parts of the baby bell container that are potentially 100% recyclable. Now, in this little jar here, they are all the ends that I have cut off all the nets. All of these appear to be aluminium. These appear to be copper. And they are from other bags that use a very similar, if not the same, netting. And again, as we know, copper can be recycled. And these ones were off the bags where what they have decided to do, instead of using any additional clasps is they have heat pressed the plastic which means that you do not have to worry about having to cut the metal bits off and what one company have done I can't tell you who they are um, because there was no name they've actually although they have used plastic what they have done is they've obviously put like an additional plastic peg on there so straight away you're saying as a customer, to a customer or to someone who's obviously wanting to reduce, reuse, recycle, yes, recycle this product. But potentially there are one, two, three, and then if you class the copper ones, four different things upon these bags. And they're not all baby bells. Some of them are obviously... Um, you know, chocolate coins. Let me just see what others have been put in this recycling bag. Um, easy peel 
oranges, this is the same one. Easy peel. Again, again, they use copper on theirs. You can still see the tag on the end. And so because basically every single company is using their own way of trying to cut the cost of how they package their food, as you can clearly see, some of them look like the aluminium and some of them look like they're copper. So again, as a customer, you're trying to improve your carbon footprint. You're saying to yourself, oh, you know what, I'll recycle these products. But how on earth in your right mind are you supposed to know how to recycle something when each company and each store have chosen to use their own design of packaging, which they are trying to class as being environmentally friendly to reduce the carbon footprint and emissions and to reduce the amount of plastic waste. Now, I don't know how many of these have got a symbol on them to say that they can be recycled. So again, without studying the symbols, for each one of these products, I mean, there's a QR code on the baby bell here, but that was for a Christmas offer. And again, they have what is called, I think it's the tetracycle symbol. But none of the others appear to have that symbol on them. So if you were encouraged and told, look out for that symbol in order to potentially put these items in a recycling container or to send them to a company that would recycle them if you have enough for them to be shipped, how would you have a clue? So I definitely think the information on all this packaging, if they are going to use it, needs to be made more clear and concise so people know how to recycle any of it in the first place. So this was basically just talking about the Baby Bell label that comes on the Baby Bell cheese. And all the other products labels I have showed you have been an example of the sorts of things that people have been told can be recycled, although they are not clearly and concisely marked as that being a possibility. So please bear with me as I upload this video and I will continue with the next.